Tonight, a touching moment at the Utah Jazz game for two Utah families, both grieving the losses of their children to Ten. suicide. 10-year-old Izzy Tishner took her life last fall, and 12-year-old Drake Hardman of Tooele died last Thursday. Both families say the children were bullied at school. Fox 13 News reporter Emily Tenser is live at Vivint Arena with tonight's special presentation. Emily. Bob Kelly, these players are so much more than just star athletes to these families. They're showing them that they are loved and cared and supported for. A spokesperson for Drake's family tells me they feel so comforted tonight. Welcome back to your Utah Jazz and happy Valentine's Day. Minutes before the Utah Jazz Valentine's Day game, the Utah Jazz take a somber note, recognizing two families who have recently suffered unimaginable tragedies. We'll be joined at center court with Brittany Tinchin, mother of Izzy. She will present to none of them. First on the court, the family of Izzy Tishner to present Donovan Mitchell his 2022 All-Star Commemorative Ring. And now Rudy will be joined with the family of Drake Hardman to present to Rudy their 2022 All-Star Commemorative Ring. Then the family of Drake Hardman walks on court to present Rudy Gobert his ring. They hold back tears and hold up the jersey he once wore as a fan in the stands. For being part of our jazz family. Drake's dad, Andy, tweeted at the star players last week, sharing his son's story. Since then, the players expressed their condolences. Donovan Mitchell called Drake's death heartbreaking and sent prayers to the family, asking for help getting in touch with them. Rudy Gobert and Joe Ingles both donated $4,527 to the GoFundMe, the 45 for Mitchell's jersey number, and the 27 for Gobert's. With Rudy Gobert, Drake just wanted to hug him because he's like, I will just hug his knees. So he said, I just want to hug Gobert so that I can hug his knees. The loss of Izzy and Drake has shaken the Utah community. Child and family psychologist Dr. Douglas Coldsmith says Utah has always had high numbers of children and teens with suicidal feelings and behavior. But he says these recent cases among younger ages are not common. And this is shocking by the ages that we're seeing. But I think it's also telling us that these children are through some means and sometimes that social media, um, hearing and discovering ways to really uh, do very serious self-harm. As the Tishners and Hardmans continue their journey of processing the loss of their loved ones, they know they're not grieving alone. Thank you to the Tishners and Hardmans for being part of our jazz family and to Donovan and Moody for representing us in Cleveland. The Hardman family launched a campaign called hashtag do it for Drake that's already gone viral. His sister created it as an anti-bullying and suicide prevention campaign. There's also one for Izzy too. That's hashtag stand for Izzy. That's to bring awareness to mental health and racial injustice. Reporting live outside the Vivint Arena, Emily Tenser, Fox 13 News, Utah. Emily, thank you. So as a parent or guardian, what can you do if you're worried about your own child being bullied? Dr. Goldsmith says a good place to start is just by talking about it. There is an opportunity for parents to say, you know, I heard something really terrible on the news and then ask their kids, do you know of any kids that have been bullying you? Are you being teased at school? Is somebody hurting your feelings every day at school? Dr. Goldsmith there says it is also very important to start a conversation with your children if you think they are the one doing the bullying to help them find a different way to manage those behaviors. More tributes continue to come in for Drake tonight. Local woodworking artist Nate I posted this video on Facebook today showing that he's working on a piece of art in Drake's honor. He posted it with the caption, Angels are always welcome in my shop. Nate tells Fox 13 News he will be finished with this art by Wednesday. If you or someone you know has a mental illness, is struggling emotionally, or has concerns about their mental health, there are ways to get help. Call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-TALK. That's 1-800-273-8255.